Okay, what I have today is something a little bit special. You've got here is just a pretty well a digital experimenter board. Um, up here I've got a motor. This is out of an old hard drive, full size, half height. Um, it's a three phase hysteresis motor with built in uh, Hall effect sensors. It has the whole bit inside there so I can sense it position and uh, drive it electronically. Put LM339, a couple of bits of logic in there just to make the way, uh, make the commutation correct for the motor. Driver transistors and then coming over here we've got a a triple bridge of P and N channel MOSFETs. Those drive the motor. Okay and uh, so the controller is powered up right now but the motor supply I've got over there is not powered up. So I'm going to start the motor off really slow. Just start this down. Starts up at about five volts. You can see here it's going nice slow. Got a little bit of torque. Not much. Nice and smooth operation. Now, when we crank it up, you see this motor is made for five volt operation. That's about it. Out of a hard drive. I'm going to turn it up. Say a little more. Seven volts. Eight, nine, ten. Well, let's just have some fun. Okay. Now it's going fast. We're at about 18 volts. And uh, we can even get some gyro effect here. It's got so much inertia, at, at so much momentum at that speed. So it's a pretty cool motor. When we turn it off, it keeps the power supply charged for a little while through the body diodes of the MOSFETs. It makes a not, a, not bad little generator. And that's it for today's project.